Hello, people of the internet. This is your friend Aaron Thorup. Uh, today we're going to uh, be doing a video, quick video tutorial um, that is actually based on a mistake I made. <laughs> that a very kind uncle of mine pointed out a misspelling of Leonard Nimoy's last name. It's not Nimoy, it's Nimoy. That was an I, not an E. So as you can see here, it's misspelled and I am going to show you how to use GIMP to correct that, assuming you don't have the working file anymore. This is just a JPEG and we're going to uh, be replacing that E with an I and doing some adjust, just image adjustment. So let's get going. So I open my image in GIMP and using the text tool I uh, typed an I. Now the text that of the incorrect name that is all an image so I'm going to use a clone tool to clone out the E here and what I do is I select a piece of the image that doesn't have the text and I am cloning 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 here we go alright and I could have cloned the entire thing out but this is a different technique that you can use you can actually uh, cut out what you don't want as you can see it leaves a gaping hole And here I'm going to be readjusting, and I created a new layer. I'm going to readjust the spacing between these so I can get the spacing just right. So I have three layers going on here. And so, and don't worry about the, uh, the box that was left on the bottom layer. We're gonna fix that in just a second. And see I'm readjusting the, uh, the text by selecting the text and then going to the text options to, to, you just massage these things until you get them just right oops accidentally moved the bottom layer don't want to do that It's looking pretty darn good and so now we need to get rid of the white box on the bottom most layer so you go to the bottom most layer and we're going to use selection tool select a piece of that that's just a big blue blank space we're going to copy that control C and do a control V right click to new layer readjust it to the bottom just above the bottom layer and then place that over the white box and as you can see completely seamless now I made a red version of this oh I'm merging all the layers together to make them a single layer because I made a red version of this which I'm opening right now and I want I need to do the same thing to this and so all I did all I'm going to do is is paste that the fixed layer right click to new layer and I've got to get rid of that blue obviously and so what I'm going to do is I'm 
going to use the eyedropper and select that color on the bottom layer. Go back to the top layer, use the bucket tool and just fill in. As you can see it fills in and changes that color. And like the previous image I need to get rid of the uh, the text I don't want on the bottom layer. And so I'm just going to use the clone tool to uh, remove all of that. I can get my layers right here. And just so you know the command to to select an area that you want to clone from um, is uh, you hold the control and click at the same time. Or hold down control plus click. And I'm realizing I oh, just need to clone out the rest of this and so here we go. Always need to be cognizant of the layer that you're on. And there we go. And we go back to our top layer, move it into position. Oh, and notice I'm covering up part of the five down there at the bottom. I didn't realize that on the blue version, and so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to fix. I'm going to fix that. And I think, I can't remember if I use the erase tool or if I just, oh yeah, I'm going to crop the current layer just a little tighter, and that should fix our problem. There we go. Piece of American pie. And as you can see, there they are, our fixed images.